Hi, folks, this is Foss here from the ChrisFossShow.com. Hey, coming with another cool product. This is from BodyBrew.com. We're going to show you how one of these Body Brew cold brew systems works. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, we actually did a full review on the Chris Foss Show, but we're going to show you how to make coffee in it and kind of how the whole thing breaks down, works, how you utilize it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if you are seeing this in the first week of this video is being made, we are giving away one of these. So be sure to share this video, like it and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll be sending one out to one lucky winner. So hopefully that's you. Uh, so at bodybrew.com, this is the Bod Cold Brew system. You can get several different versions of this. There's the sheer, the stealth, the shadow, and the sky. I really like this blue thing, which I believe is the sky. Uh, it's just a really good looking, uh, just beautiful sort of element. We're gonna show you how to make coffee in this and what you do with it. It also comes with uh, these wonderful lids that you can take and use for both sides of this. You can uh, use the smaller cup uh, to take and use to store your coffee. You can even use it as a coffee to drink out of if you want. And it's got these wonderful lids that spin around and you can take and uh, put, of course, the concentrated extract that you're gonna make in here in there. There's also a spare unit that we got. Uh, this comes with different variations of the order you place. And of course, it has a lid too, and you can use that to store your concentrated extract that you're gonna make in this brewer. Uh, there's also a lid to make for the other part too as well. How about this? It just comes into all sorts of different parts and fun that you can have with this device and of course make good, good cold brew coffee. Uh, you'll see here how it comes apart. One of the things that I think is really great about this product from the other cold brew units that I reviewed is the filter is so big. Look how giant this thing is. One of the problems I've had with some of the competitive cold brew coffee makers out there, especially ones that were lauded uh, on Amazon, is the filter area is way too small. I would have to cram all of the coffee down in a small thin cylinder. And the problem was is a lot of times I'd have to, every uh, few hours or every day or so, I'd have to go in and kind of turn that coffee around with a, a knife to try and get it to be able to uh, make sure that water is accessible onto it. I'm gonna show you what's really cool about the uh, body brew system. And here you can see we're filling it with half a pound of coffee. Now this is gonna make a coffee concentrate or an extract for you, or unless you're like me who likes a really strong coffee in the morning, this is probably just a uh, nice coffee or two <laughs> make here. But for most people, it makes a concentrate or extract. So basically you see how this works, you screw it on. What's nice is they even sell these little digital timers. And smartly, they put magnets in the unit so that you can take and magnetize the timer on there. And so you can know. One of the problems I have is I've always got a whole mess of cold brew cooking, usually two or three of these jugs at a time. And uh, I sometimes forget if I don't make a note as to when I started them and how much time they are, because usually I like to have them steep, if you will, for maybe 24 to 48 hours. Uh, so uh, what's nice is they have a timer that magnetizes right on it. Now, one of the things I love about it is you can take and turn these things over back and forth, kind of like an hourglass, if you will. Uh, and on it, you can take and or an egg timer. And what you can do is that helps move the grounds around inside of this thing. So you can kind of shift everything without causing too much trouble. It looks like we put a little too much water in this, so we're going to take some of that out. You want to put this up to a special middle line that they have in here, and that will brew you just really good, excellent coffee. Now, one of the things you're going to find with cold brew that's really good is it's going to be very powerful for caffeine. It's going to have a very solid, pure taste that's going to come out with your coffee. You're not going to need to put cream and sugar in this unless you really want to, but I got to tell you, the nice thing, the reason you, you usually put cream and sugar in bad coffee is because it's not brewed well, you haven't gotten the beans out, and it has this sharp, nasty taste to it. So you can see here, one of the first things that I usually do once I fill in the water is I shake it back and forth, and make sure that all those grounds get moved around, get exposed to water and all that good stuff. And actually during a brew, uh, two or three times a day, what I'll take and do is I'll just walk by it, I'll turn it over, let the water go to one end, turn over again. Just make sure that those grounds of coffee are all getting exposed to water, getting exposed to all sorts of stuff and everything else. And I gotta tell you, what you're gonna find out of here is amazing. Uh, in the taste that you're gonna find, it's just so rich. I don't have to put uh, sugar or milk into it. It tastes full-bodied, it's strong, it's got a nice, wonderful caffeine kick to it, which is usually what I'm after as well. And it's pretty awesome. What's even nice is it's made of health-safe Triton plastic. So it's BPA, BPS, 
phthalate and PVC free. Um, it's also making healthy coffee. If you study some of the uh, oily compounds and different things that can make stomach acid, tea staining and different things that uh, give off when you make coffee, uh, it eliminates that stuff as well. And you can rebrew the coffee. You can just take out your extract, put some water back in and rebrew those grounds. It's dishwasher safe and it's spill and shatterproof. And it's portable too. So I just love how it works and I love the flavor and I've just, it's blown away all the other coffee uh, cold brew makers that I owned and reviewed on the Chris Voss show. It's just knocked them down that I've, I've put them into storage or put them in shelves and forget about them because I'm not using them anymore. So I'm really happy right now to have four of these. So if you do get one, realize you're going to be brewing for every uh, 48 hours to 72 hours if you're a cold brew lover like me. So you might want to grab a couple of them because you've got to have one in rotation so you make sure you have a coffee every day. Or, you know, maybe you can just use the concentrate. But I, I tend to drink it straight because I really like my coffee. I think you're going to love this coffee. I think it's the best cold brew coffee maker in the world that I've ever seen so far but we reviewed a lot and uh, I love the way they designed and built it there's a lot of smart stuff they did into this so be sure to check it out go to bodybrew.com and tell them Chris Voss sent you Chris Voss testing Chris Voss approved we'll see you next time